Oh, look who's on the line. Scotty Palmer. Keep punching, Scott. Good afternoon, Bruce, or good evening, Philip. Yes, Scotty, great to hear from you. Listen, it was just wonderful hearing Lou because last week I happened to give him a ring and um, he's terrific, you know. He's coming up to 93. Oh, the dear and, thing. And he's still got his, uh, his humour. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a very funny man. Oh, know? he's marvellous. He lives down at a uh, resting place down near the uh, St Kilda Junction. Yeah. And um, I call in every time I go past and take him a dozen oysters, which he absolutely devours. Oh, he'd love that. He loves it. And, um, you know, a lot of people say, where's Lou? Well, he's still around, Lou. He's, um, he comes down here to uh, his house at Sorrento now and again. And funny story, Bruce, when he was at the Phoenix Hotel, there was a little boots man. They used to, he used to be in the cellar called Wee Gordon McMillrick. Now, Wee Gordon McMillrick must be as old as Lou, but he's holidaying at his house down here in Portsea at the moment. And uh, it's an amazing story how the friendship de has developed over the years. Isn't that great? He's I... a tiny little bloke, and uh, he used to... I what he used to be, the barman at the World of Sport on a Sunday morning. Oh, was he really? Oh. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you know, it's terrific to hear Lou in that shape and shape and that form just a minute ago. Oh, it's funny. It was yeah. great stuff. And, you know, I... Scotty, I don't think he's ever recovered from Edna's passing, has he? Never really recovered. No. Um, he... I'm, I'm glad you're keeping an eye on him, uh, Scott. He would love that. And the visits with the oysters and the mates. Yeah, yeah. And he's we were, a funny story. He, he had it, when his 90th birthday came, Ronnie Joseph picked him up and took, took him into the Collingwood Football Club. And um, we had a big seafood feast. He ate 30 oysters <laughs> and I think a, 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 at least 24, 25 prawns. <laughs> and <laughs> and we, he, we, we had a big cake, so, sang his birthday song, and then Ronnie took him back to the place and he said to Ronnie, uh, Ronnie, what day is it? And he said, it's March 14, Lou. He said, that's my birthday. <laughs> he'd, he'd, <laughs> he'd forgotten that he just celebrated it. Oh, that's mm. beautiful. Jeez, but uh, I tell you, whenever when I talk to him, he says to me, um, I say, put the bloody earpiece in, Lou, so you can hear the hearing aid. And he's always saying, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> and I, when he puts it in, he's as good as gold, you know. And um, mm. he's just a terrific character, and I love, it, love every bone in his body. Yes, you would too. Now, Scotty, you would go back at, with Lou to what? Herald, Herald days? Her when I started at the Sun as a copy boy, uh, he was writing for the Sun in football, and um, he used to say to me, uh, to all the, all the women in the place, she's not a bad sort, Scotty, is she, really? <laughs> and I'd say, no, she's all right, Louie. He said, well, you know, when we used to, he used to say, one day you'll, you'll be able to find enough money to take one of those girls out, and all that sort <laughs> of stuff. Mm. Scotty, he was a uh, terrific guy. Scotty, what are you doing with yourself uh you, the, the the hotel is gone, hasn't it? Yeah, the hotel is gone. We had a wonderful time in there. I'm down at Sorrento. The uh, storm's just gone past here now. But, um, yeah, I'm retired now, Bruce. I've, I've had a good time, and uh, I still, I'm still still attached to the local footy team down here. We've won uh, five premierships in seven years. Oh, so that's all right. Yeah, we're going well. Now, I host the lunches, and we have all the guest speakers up, and, uh, oh, you'd and we have a good time. You'd love all that, Scotty. I do love it, but... Particularly, I, partic Lou came down, funny story, another funny story. He came down and um, he said he didn't have any money. So uh, he said, drive me, drive me up to the National Bank. Oh, that's where I bank. So he, we drove him up to the National Bank and he said, you better go and get the manager because I can't walk in and out. Uh, I'm a bit dicey on the, on the pins now. So we went and got the manager and he said, oh, oh, you, know, you know me, don't you? I'm Lou. Uh, can I have 500 bucks? <laughs> And the bloke said, well, do you bank with us? Of course I bank with you. I bank with you since I was, uh, you started in the, at the Herald. And the bloke uh, brought him out uh, some documents. He signed them. They gave him the 500 bucks and he took it to the football and had a great day. Isn't mm. that marvellous? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> He's a river bloke. Oh, yeah. fabulous. I'm so glad you called in and uh, give him our love when you see him next. Good on you, Bruce, and terrific, Phil. Yeah, uh, thanks. Great show. Oh, great Scott. show, mate. Uh, uh, Scotty. Yep. Keep punching. Yeah. Keep punching, China. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, a real gentleman and a yeah. colourful character, lovely fellow, part of Melbourne, Scotty Palmer. What a surprise. Now involved with uh, Sorrento, is it? Yes, yeah, Sorrento is at the, the football club. Local footy club down there, absolutely. Good man, yeah.